Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the first week in March 2021, the 14th of um, uh, the 14th of the month of uh, uh, March. Uh, I uh, I want to do the weather. I have the weather today. I, I brought the weather down. I hope you can hear me. I have some background uh, uh, noise in the background. Please ignore that. Uh, this is Texas. I decided to uh, assimilate myself into the culture of Texas by wearing my Western shirt today. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so I hope I hope I do it justice. Uh, I'm a, not a cowboy by any stretch of the uh, of, of the word. Uh, today it's 73 degrees. The air quality is 68 to moderate. Sunset will be at 6.38 p.m. It's daylight savings time now, and I'll touch on that later in the presentation. Uh, the rain, the chance of rain is 10%. I, I'm having trouble with the light. I, 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 light is the most important thing when you make these, uh, these presentations, and I hope I'm getting the, the light right. And um, the wind is out of the north, northwest at 6 miles per hour. Uh, the biometric pressure is 29.94 uh, inches of mercury and the UV is three there's overcast and there is a 10% chance of rain today and the visibility is 10 miles I don't have the uh, temperature in Celsius and I will not guess but I know it's probably between 73 degrees is probably between 21 degrees Celsius and 25 so I think I'm pretty safe with that uh, some of the things that happened today in history uh, Stephen Hawking, that intelligent gentleman in the wheelchair, uh, died today in, uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh, 1794. Uh, I guess I'm a little bit distracted with the gunfire in the background, but uh, I'm not going to interfere with him. I'm taking up his space. This is his computer room. I call him the hacker. Anyway, uh, 1794. Uh, Eli Whitney uh, gets a patent for the gin mill. And if you don't know what the gin mill is, that's the machine that was invented to remove the fibers of the cotton from the seed. This, this revolutionized the cotton industry. Uh, previously, it had to be done by hand. So this was, this was unbelievable, a machine that was able to separate the fibers of the cotton from the seed quickly. It revolutionized the whole industry. So... Uh, Eli Whitney, uh, way to go. Um, in 1879, Albert Einstein was born in Ulm, Germany, ULM, Germany. And uh, 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 legend has it that when he was being born, he actually instructed the doctors how to pull him out of his mother and, uh, and also instructed them not to slap him on the butt. That's how intelligent Albert Einstein was. I, 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 I was amazed when I read this. He actually uh, told the doctors how to do their job. Unbelievable intelligence. Uh, 1951, uh, the U.S. forces retake Seoul during the Korean War. And that's a whole other story, that Korean War. Uh, we were trying to unite Korea, South Korea, and North Korea, and then the Chinese got involved in it. It became, it became quite a quagmire. Again, when we get into involved in other countries' politics, it never goes well. You know, uh, it just never goes well. Uh, uh, 1964, the first courtroom verdict was uh, televised, and this was uh, uh, Jack Ruby was found guilty of assassinating uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, the gentleman who uh, blew off uh, supposedly. Uh, blew off uh, John F. Kennedy's head. And, uh, and in 2018, uh, uh, Stephen Hawking died not too long ago, that very intelligent, wheelchair-bound, uh, stargazer, black hole enthusiast. I mean, he knew everything about this. He knew everything about that. He knew everything. He probably knew how many times you wiped your butt at the end of the day. This guy knew everything, just everything. So... Uh, and I want to thank uh, I want to thank some of my listeners and viewers. Uh, I I do read all the comments. I don't uh, I don't respond to all of the comments, uh, 
Uh, but I want you to let I want to I want you to know trying to get comfortable here on this This is a window bench. I'm sitting on right now, but I pulled it away from the window as to get uh, To bring the light if I had sat next to the window It would have been too dark. So hopefully this by moving the bench out and uh, Unfortunately, it's closer to the uh, the gunfire behind me, but uh, What can I do? Uh, this is a rented room and I'm just renting a room. Uh, this gentleman lives here full time, was here before me, probably will be here after me. So I want to respect all his, uh, his space. And uh, I'm not going to ask him to leave. This is, this is the hacker's hack. You know, this is, you, don't, you don't ask people to leave a computer terminal. Uh, I want to thank uh, Michelle Holt. Thank you. Uh, Ryan Manson. Uh, M-A-W-S-O-N, uh, he, he says I'm doing just fine and I don't need any tips. Thanks for that tip. Uh, Lori Miller uh, was happy with the Green Beret song. She hadn't heard that in years. And she also told us in California there's a law that the gas stations must provide uh, water and air. And it it's, has to be free. So if you just ask them to turn it on, they, they'll turn it on. I thought the guy liked me. That's why he was turning it on, because I used to just go in there and say, hey, I need some gas, and, well, you know, you're not going to charge me, you know, and he would do it. But now I think it's, uh, Laurie Miller says it's the law. They got it provided free, even though they try to charge. Uh, Scott, S-S-S-S, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, Ricky Ricardo. Uh, you rock too, buddy. You rock too. And uh, Johnny, Johnny T, here comes the cat now. Don't knock it over. Uh, Johnny T uh, will give you, uh, where is it? Oh, Jesus. You know, I just, I just forget. You know, there's something I was supposed to bring down and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go up and get it. Just hold on. Sorry about that. Yesterday I forgot the weather. Today I forgot uh, uh, Johnny, uh, Johnny, two Johnny T said that uh, JC Penny called yesterday and they want the shirt back. So uh, Johnny, Johnny T, two Johnny T, yes, I will uh, try to find the JC Penny and uh, I'll return the, the shirt. So thank you for that. Uh, and. Uh, Hello to Vito. Vito is a, a new subscriber. Hello, Vito. I hope you're uh, getting over yourself and not being as self-absorbed and self-centered as I've known you to be in the past. Uh, and my sister Marianne and Bob, who uh, are very supportive of my uh, endeavor here on the World Wide Web. And my sister Terry, or Teresa, I don't know what name she's using today. Uh, she's somewhat supportive, but she uh, seems to care much about this bus company. Uh, and that's all that she's uh, really involved in. So uh, some of the things I just wanted to let you know, some interesting items here on the first uh, day of the week, Sunday. Um, uh, this is about Tom Brady. Everybody knows Tom Brady. Uh, bask in the congratulations from wife. Uh, anyway, Tom Bradley, uh, Tom Brady's got s something going on. He's got... Uh, He's, uh, he's got uh, a lot of women in his life. He's got a, he's got a, I don't know if I want to read this right now. I'm being very distracted by the gunfire in the background. You'll have to excuse me. Let's just do this one. This one sounds like a good one. How to find a great t-shirt online. Uh, prepare to splurge. Great t-shirts aren't cheap. So experts, uh, so expect to spend when, it, when you shop remotely and demand lasting quality and a great fit. You're paying for the research 
and development that careful companies put into a shirt's construction, including the fabric. The better the fabric, the better it will wash and the longer it will look crisp. Uh, the longer the cotton fiber, the softer the fabric. And Prima, P-R-I-M-A, cotton is wrinkle resistant and more durable than mass market upland co uh, cotton. Uh, Pima is often labeled uh, S-U-P-I-M-A, Supayana, S-U-P-I-M-A, guaranteeing that the fabric will be 100% P-I-M-A, Pima. Uh, I just thought cotton was cotton. I didn't know that. I know Egyptian cotton is very popular with bath towels. I've heard of Egyptian cotton, but I've never heard of this P-I-M-A cotton. Uh, a Supima tea can sell from $15 to $80 or more. Don't pay more than $100 unless you are buying Sea Island cotton. Sea Island cotton. I know Egyptian cotton. Now we have Sea Island cotton. We have P-I-M-A cotton. The rarest cotton. So the rarest cotton is Sea Island cotton. Look to Portugal. Portugal is renowned for its cotton jersey. All of Europe's best mills are there, producing wares for luxury brands and hip basic basics labels alike. So that's about cotton. I didn't realize cotton was uh, was that uh, was was that diverse. There are different cultures of cotton. I guess uh, all cotton is not the same. So no, next time you see somebody with a raggedy t-shirt on, you can tell them, hey, you really need to spend a little bit more on your t-shirt. It'll last longer, it'll be crisp, and uh, you'll get your money's worth. Uh, I was, I'm very conscious to make today's presentation much shorter than yesterday's. So maybe that's why I'm feeling rushed. I can't imagine it. It's, it can't be the gunfire behind me from the hacker, but uh, uh, he's doing well, very well. He's uh, he's doing. We're getting along, you know. I gave him a package of circus peanuts yesterday or the day before, and I told him I love those. Those are, those are my favorite foods. Susie Q's and and. Um, circus peanuts. I told him, if you don't like them, give them back to me. So I went and checked on him, and the bag was always almost full. I think he maybe had three or four. I said, I told you, if you didn't like them, give them back to me. So I took them back. But uh, otherwise, everything's just fine. Uh, a wannabe air traffic controller in Berlin has been giving fake instructions to commercial airliners for the past six months. The unidentified man is said to have became increasingly professional with his communications to passengers, passenger and transport aircraft, and even police in federal helicopters. He was arrested after he uh, sent instructions to a helicopter police had sent to hover over his neighborhood. Police discovered two sophisticated radios in his home capable of transmitting to aircraft. They called it an unusual arrest, but it was an arrest nevertheless. An arrest is an arrest. Any arrest is a good arrest if it's based on true, uh, true crime. A crime has to be committed for an arrest to be bona fide and legal. So it's obvious this man was, 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 was involved in criminal, uh, criminal behavior. So I don't know if I would call this an unusual arrest. An arrest is an arrest. Why single this out for special treatment? Unusual? He was breaking the law. He endangered people in helicopters and commercial aircraft and uh, package delivery services. So I disagree on that. I wouldn't call it an unusual arrest. I'd probably call it a, 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 just, a justified arrest. And um, 
I wanted to talk to you about uh, Tom Brady, but I'm afraid I'm going to butcher all these names. So I'm going to go through with it and forgive me uh, for my Sunday morning uh, inability to pronounce uh, names and last names. Tom Brady, best in congratulations from wife Galisa Belonghen, a Barhenhen, and three children, and ex-girlfriend Bridget Monahan. All right? So he's got a wife, and he's got an ex-girlfriend, and they both love him. Uh, after winning his seventh Super Bowl uh, last week, or a couple of weeks ago, several weeks ago. Uh, the Tampa Buc Buccaneers uh, quarterback, 43, and Monaghan, 49, split in 2009. And Brady's new relationship with Brazilian supermodel, uh, Bonadir, I'll spell it, B-U-N-D-C-H-E-N, was complicated by news that Monaghan was pregnant with Brady's son, Jack. But Monaghan, Brady, and uh, this, this, this B-U-N-D-C-H-E-N agreed to co-parent Jack and have been on good terms. Monaghan sent Brady a sweet message on Instagram after the former New England Patriot star led the Bucks to victory. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one from hashtag Patriots Nation celebrating at Buccaneers, Monaghan wrote. Buchan, 40, went on to field to smooch the Super Bowl MVP. Sources said Monaghan and, and Bernard are quite close. Uh, uh, their names are uh, Giesel and Bridget now actually talk as much as Tom and Bridget if not more, a source told so-and-so and so-and-so. -and -so. so this is complicated. I think they could have wrote, written, written this a little bit easier, and it didn't help me butchering the names, but evidently he's uh, divorced and then uh, uh, remarried the supermodel but still has the ex, and they're, they're close, and they're going to raise Jack as a family. Wow, wow, this guy's got more tail coming at him than you can shake a stick at, but he's a quarterback. Uh, a Super Bowl winning quarterback. So uh, I guess our hats are off to him, huh? And uh, and uh, I don't know how long this is going. This is a really, uh, I want to apologize for the choppiness of this video and uh, the presentation as a whole. Uh, I'm not used to uh, present, uh, making a presentation with gunfire in the background. Uh, listen to this. A British, uh, a British, uh, Celine, Cila, uh, Celine, Celine Dion fanatic got drunk and legally changed his name to Cillian, uh, Celine. De I mean, this is probably really hard to watch right now. I'm, I'm not pronouncing any words uh, correctly. And I, I, anyway, this guy got drunk and he changed his name to Celine uh, Dion, uh, Dion, you know, the singer. And uh, he actually likes it now, and he tells people to call him Mr. Cillian uh, <laughs> Dillon. Uh, and this is one that really hits home to me. The neighborhood in Queens, New York, is under siege from a band of savage squirrels. Uh, residents of the Rigo Park area say the bushy-tailed rodents leap on people, crawl up their bodies, and bite and scratch them. Uh, some weary residents are now leaving their homes armed with shovels. So-and-so uh, and so-and-so tried to fight back against the squirrel who attacked, attacked her, a battle that she described as a MMA cage match. Uh, the squirrel didn't care. She said it just wanted something. It wanted blood. And you know, this is true because I was an animal control officer in California and I was called out to the country club once. And uh, there was indeed a squirrel that was belligerent. It was rude. It was over, over excitable. It was, uh, you could even call it vicious. And they wanted me to call and take it away. And uh, I took it away and relocated it. 
but it wasn't easy. I had it in the net and then it got out and then I had to get it again. And then it, when it, it was just usually squirrels would just run away. You know, they just run away, but not this squirrel. So some squirrels are uh, 5150, or maybe they have uh, uh, been brought up in a, in a squirrel, in a dysfunctional squirrel family. Perhaps there was uh, a missing uh, father squirrel, perhaps uh, uh, maybe the, the, the dad squirrel lost his job down at the nut factory. Who knows what happened? But the squirrels, uh, they 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 can be uh, they can be belligerent. And uh, here's one for you: a Vermont home listed for sale as an un, uh, unusual feature. It has a dungeon, a 2,200 square foot four bedroom two bath home served as both the SS County Jail and the jailer's residence until 1969. Oh, I just saw a mail truck, even on Sunday. They're working hard. They're doing the best they can with the budget they gave them, just like Amtrak. They're doing the best they can with the money they're giving them. They need to just fund that post office, drown it in money, drown Amtrak in money. But they won't, or they won't, or they will not, or they refuse. Uh, so this is a house you can buy for $149,000 with a 28 by 40 uh, 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 jail in the bottom. So that, isn't that something else? So uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna think I'm gonna cut my losses on this one, my friends. Uh, between the, uh, the gunfire in the back here and uh, and in uh, my butchering the English language, I just want to talk about daylight savings time. I think it's time to uh, keep the days longer. Uh, I don't know why we're shortening the days. Uh, I, it, they, they talk about the harvest or the farmers. Everybody is going to the supermarket today. I don't think there's anybody that's interested in the harvest or uh, what have you, or whatever the reasons were for uh, uh, for this. But uh, <sighs> so uh, hopefully we can do away with it. Hawaii and Arizona have already done away with it. Uh, most of the world has done away with it or never did it. So I hope, hopefully, that the uh, boys and girls in uh, Washington can put big pants on, big boy pants on, and big, big boy, girl dresses on, or big, big girl boots on, and uh, they can grow up and uh, make some positive changes uh, and, and, and agree with w one another and compromise. And uh, my, my way of the highway is no way to run a family. It's no way to run a business. It's no way to r run uh, interpersonal relationships. It's, 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 no, it's, it's no way to run a country, my way or the highway. It's just not gonna work. Instead of uniting, it'll divide the country even further. So our leaders in Washington must realize that they're setting an example for the rest of the country. And if they're immature or unwilling to compromise, or see things in a different light, uh, they're only harming the nation as a whole. So uh, I, I, hope, uh, I hope they can uh, change their ways. And, uh, and that's it, I'm gonna close this one. I don't know how, I just can't wait to see how long this is gonna be. But uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, again, I apologize for, maybe, I'm, maybe I didn't get enough sleep last night. I don't know, but this is, it's been kind of a train wreck, but uh, I'll see you on the back end. I'll see you on the back end, whatever that means. You know? It's time to bounce. I'm gonna bounce, whatever. I'm gonna bounce out of here. And uh, and uh, I made shoot a video of the uh, bird. They have a bird feeder right out front. I made sh uh, uh, shoot a little video of the birds. Sometimes you see some interesting birds coming to the bird feeder. Okay, thank you. Coming around, coming around. Coming around. <laughs>